Hello, second grade. This is module two, lesson six. And the object objective today is I can measure and compare links using centimeters and meters. Okay, so what we're going to do first is we're going to count by tens, starting here at the 70 centimeter mark. I have my meter sticks here, so you'll notice that there are a hundred centimeters on each stick. So we're going to start at the 70 and we're going to count by tens. So when I get to the hundred centimeter, we're going to say one meter and then we're going to go back to counting by centimeters. <coughs> so let's start at 70. Here we go. So 70. 80, 90, 1 meter, 110, 120, 130, 140. Okay, now let's switch directions and go backwards. <coughs> so 140. 130, 120, 110, 1 meter, 90, 80, and we're back to 70 here. Good job, friends. This time, we are going to start at the 80. <coughs> so we're going to count just like we did before, but we're going to start at 80. So here we go. 80, 90, 1 meter, 110, 120, 130, 140. Okay, let's go backwards now. So 140, 130, 120, 110, 1 meter, 90, 80. Good job. Give yourself a kiss on the brain. And here's our application problem. Now remember, with our application problem, we can solve this however we feel comfortable using whatever strategy that we have learned so far. <coughs> so it says Eve is seven centimeters shorter, shorter than Joey. Joey is 91 centimeters tall. How tall is Eve? Go ahead and push pause and then push play when you're done solving this problem. Okay, so you should have this problem solved. Did you take 91 minus 7? If you did, awesome job. What answer did you get? Did you get 84? So that means that Eve is 84 centimeters tall. Good job, friends. <coughs> I'll have a cough again today. Okay, so what we're doing is we are going to be comparing um, measurements in this lesson. So I have two uh, balloon animals here. I've got the dog balloon animal and then there's a horse. And I measured both of these and the balloon, the um, dog balloon animal is 30 centimeters and the horse is 35 centimeters. Now I need to figure out which one is longer. Is 30 centimeters longer or is 35 centimeters longer? Go ahead and write down your answer. 
Did you say that 35 centimeters is longer? You are correct. Give yourself a kiss on the brain. 35 is bigger than 30, so that means that 35 is longer, 35 centimeters is longer than 30 centimeters. All right, so let's go to this next one. Oh, we've been talking about spiders in our journeys books and <clears throat> so I've got two spiders here and this first spider is eight centimeters long and this other one is three centimeters long so which of these spiders is longer go ahead and write down your answer did you say that the eight centimeter spider is longer you are correct. Give yourself a kiss on the brain. Oh, I've got two birthday cakes here. And this first birthday cake is 50 centimeters high. And <coughs> this other one is 70 centimeters. And I want the biggest cake for my for my birthday party. It's coming up, you know. So I want the biggest cake for my birthday party so that I could have all of my friends enjoy cake with me. So which cake should I get? Should I get the 50 centimeters cake or the 70 centimeters cake? Did you say the 70, 70 centimeters cake? You are absolutely correct. 70 centimeters is bigger than 50 centimeters. Excellent job. Oh, and I've got to have some ice cream to go with my cake. But I want to make sure that my friends get the biggest ice cream cone. So my first ice cream cone here is 25 centimeters. And my other one is 30 centimeters. So which ice cream cone should I give my friends? Should I give them the 25 centimeters or the 30 centimeters ice cream cone? Did you say the 30 centimeters ice cream cone? You are absolutely correct. This one is bigger. And we're going to enjoy some pizza at my birthday party. And so this first slice of pizza is 23 centimeters. And this other one is 18 centimeters. So if I'm wanting to give my friends the biggest slices of pizza... Should I have the 23 centimeters or the 18 centimeters? Did you see the 23 centimeters? You are absolutely correct. Give yourself a kiss on the brain. I've got some birds here, and every bird has different wings spanned. So the seagull over here. <coughs> A seagull has a wingspan of 46 centimeters. And the bald eagle has a wingspan of 200 centimeters. So which bird here has the longest wingspan? Did you say the bald eagle over here with the 200 centimeters? You are absolutely correct. Good job. Here's some pretty flowers that came up in my garden. And this first one is 15 centimeters long. And the other one is 25 centimeters long. Which flower is longer? The 15 centimeters or the 25 or the 24 centimeters? Sorry. Did you say 24 centimeters? You are absolutely correct. Good job. And here's our exit ticket. What you're going to do is you're going to erase everything off your desk or your whiteboard. And what you're going to do first is you're going to measure all of these lines. So um, your teacher will give you a piece of paper so that it's easier, so you're not having to... Um, measure these off of your computer or your your iPad and you're gonna measure these lines 
with your ruler, your centimeter ruler, and it'd probably be a good idea to write down how many centimeters they are either to the side here or maybe on top of each line so that you know how much it how much each line is how how long each line is so you're going to measure each one then you're going to answer these questions it says line m is about blank centimeters longer than line O. So you're going to look at M and O. Think about how you can figure out how much longer M is than O. Number two says line N is about blank centimeters shorter than line M. And three says line N doubled would be about blank centimeters longer or shorter than line M. So fill out that piece of paper that your teacher gave you, the exit ticket, take a picture of it, and seesaw. Good luck.